doing. How amazing is that? Love it. Really good. So I just pulled over. Um, I'm not sure what this bit's called. I'll stick it on the screen and find out. It's like a little viewpoint, I think, the car park here. Oh, let me show you what I'm looking at. You can see it. Obviously, the problem I've got right now is that it's kind of, it's not a whiteout, but it's blocking the visibility, the amount of snow. So it might be a case of just waiting for a little bit. But over here, there's a footpath that goes down and I'll see if I can do something. What I'd love to get a shot of is that mountain there just peeking out of the clouds. You know, it would be like one of those scenes where the ghost ship comes through the clouds on a on the sea, you know, when it's really still and it just comes creeping through the clouds. It could look like that, but with an like, epic big mountain that's covered in snow. That's what I wanna try and shoot. So I'm tempted now to go and shoot that and see if I can just pull it out, some of the detail in post-production. See if I can get some of that detail to come back. And I'll come out, out here to this part now, a little bit further along the path. And I must say the wind's like picked up a bit. I can feel it on my face, like my body is like properly warm. Because I'm wearing the right clothes, I'm warm inside. For my body, it's like being indoors, apart from my face. And my face feels like I stuck it on an ice block. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, so my face, I can feel how cold it is. And it really is freezing. It's like bitterly cold, but I like it. <laughs> uh, but also, it's just so different that it makes things kind of magical. <laughs> how are you feeling? Oh. Cold. <laughs> right, so what I'm wearing now, this, is, these are really good. This is the neck warmer. This one's from Outkit in the UK, but you can just get them online. And it's made from merino wool, which means it's warm when it's wet. And when you breathe on it, it's like heat just radiates across your face. It's brilliant. So right now, the only thing I can feel the cold right now is just this bit here, which makes it okay. I mean, it really is barely cold though. But the rest, like I said, the rest of it feels really warm. In fact, the snow's getting so hard now, it's getting hard to see. Right, you'll have to excuse the fact that you can hardly see me. It is just, you know, you can see what it's doing. It's covering it down with snow. And the wind's pretty strong as well. The problem I've got here is, the water's getting on the lens, like the snow, you know, it's getting on the lens all the time right now. So I have to take the shot quickly, and, uh, and then I'm just gonna get the head out of it, basically. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe the lens, because the snow's coming down really fast. Use my gloves, and I'm gonna cover it. I've got my settings already set. So I'm gonna set my timer. Two seconds, and I'm just gonna take it away for a moment. When I take the shot and then put it back and hope for the best, basically. <laughs> That's about all I can do. So here we go. That's the shot. I'm only going to take one. It's like, I can't really do much more than that. I just have to hope that that works out and I get something out of it. It's warm, isn't it? Freezing. Um. Right, that's the shot done. Back to the car. Onto the next bit. Tell you what, you won't appreciate here is this is like even just that little gap here, it is stinging like crazy. It stings, properly stings, really. You need ski goggles, which we've got. They're at home, you know. Didn't bring them out. Probably should have brought them out. Never mind. <laughs> That's Katie trying to battle it. To be fair, she's really tough. And uh, she doesn't complain that at all. And she'd rather come along than not. For me, I wouldn't have it any other way. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. So the next bit is we're gonna go to that bit where I said the deer were. I'm gonna have to sit in the car when we get there and just wait for this to stop because it's really hard to take photos, as you can see. But I'll catch up with you in a bit. I wanted to get that scene with the mountain in the background and then some of this foreground element with this lake area that's here with a deer in it. And uh, this area is really well known for the deer being quite inquisitive and friendly and coming up to you. It would be nice if some of the other deer came out as well, particularly one of the stags would be brilliant with the big antlers. 
He's just sat down over there staring at me. <laughs> He's not coming out. Now the sun's come out, so it's time for me to turn around yet again and take another photo. Any times the conditions change like that really quickly, I'll often try and grab another shot because I think to myself, the lighting's gonna be different, it could be better. You know, it gives you that drama when you've got that good lighting coming in from the side like this. So hopefully that'll come out as well. 